A local man known for constantly filing lawsuits against local leaders found himself on the wrong side of the law. Union activist Robert Davis pleaded guilty today in federal court for stealing money and tax crimes. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo, she's been following this case from the very beginning. Heather, how much prison time is Davis looking at? Well, Malcolm, Robert Davis is facing between 18 and 24 months in federal prison. And as part of his guilty plea, he had to admit in court today that he used money that was supposed to help kids in Highland Park for his own own personal use. Robert Davis, the union activist who spends his days filing lawsuits against Michigan's political leaders, is now a convicted criminal. Davis pleaded guilty in federal court today to two charges, embezzlement and filing a false tax return. The seven investigators first showed you back in 2012 how Davis had asserted his Fifth Amendment rights several times when he was questioned under oath about misusing money that belonged to Highland Park schools. The 34-year-old is a member of the school board. The FBI raided his home and he was later indicted. The Fed said between 2004 and 2010, Davis used cover companies to submit false invoices for payment. The Fed say Davis converted more than $197,000 for his own use. It came a time where it needed to be put behind me. I mean, this has been going on for the last five years. Moments after facing the federal judge, Davis told 7 Action News why he pleaded guilty. So I think the right thing to do was to get this thing behind me so that I can move forward with my career and continue to work hard on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan uh, and take ownership as to what mistakes were made on my part. And uh, as a man, I have to do that. Davis and his lawyer asked the judge that he be allowed to keep his job with ASME, the union that covers city and county workers, despite his embezzlement conviction. Federal law prohibits people convicted of certain crimes from being employed by a union. Davis says he wants to keep working. That's, that's why it was important to get this behind me, um, so that this can no longer be that asterisk mark beside my name so that I could continue to fight for the people of the state of Michigan, the hardworking men and women here. And uh, I'm looking forward to continue to do that. Once again, Davis is potentially facing up to two years in federal prison. He could also be fined up to $500,000. He'll be sentenced on December 9th. It's not clear yet if he'll be able to keep his job. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you.